This image shows the before and this the aftermath of the blast. A rock and a tree dislodged from the edge of a cave, believed to contain evidence of ancient human habitation. The site is close to the Namuldi mine near Tom Price. It's raised fresh concerns iron ore giant Rio Tinto isn't protecting significant Aboriginal heritage sites, despite making international headlines over the destruction of two ancient rock shelters at Jukun Gorge in 2020. Traditional owners, the Winterwadi Guruma, say they are disappointed by the report, but are yet to establish the extent of the impact on the rock shelter. For its part, Rio Tinto says it's examined the site with a drone and doesn't believe there's been any damage to culturally sensitive materials, but is planning a site visit to be sure. We're sorry that this has occurred. Um, we're working with Muntagura Guruma to really understand what happened and ensure we make whatever changes we need to make to our controls. I'm deeply disappointed that we're in this situation again, yet again, particularly with Rio Tinto. Uh, we would have thought that they would have learnt their lesson, particularly from Duke and Gorge. The WA Greens senator saying the latest incident demonstrates the need for overarching federal heritage protections. Aboriginal cultural heritage is, is the domain of states and territories predominantly, but what we need is harmonisation of that. Queensland MP Warren Ench was the chair of an inquiry into Jukun Gorge and worries not enough has changed. A lot of the recommendations that we put forward and the commitments that Rio made after the destruction of the, the Jukun uh, rock shelter, I asked the question how much of that of their commitments have they actually carried out. The traditional owners say they hope to independently establish the facts in the coming weeks. Rebecca Trigger, ABC News.